Hi friends, as many experts are saying, this year is going to be the year of AI agents. Now, let's understand some concepts using a very simple example. Let's say we have a company and the company has a salesperson as an employee. Now, the employee job or task is to qualify the leads and if they qualify, then do the follow up, etc. Okay, so to do this job, the employee will have access to a certain number of tools and skills, right? For example, access to the database to know the details of the lead, right? Which company has uh, uh, this potential lead, uh, their contact details, etc. Then uses the internet to search more about the company, right? The size of the company, what type of business they do, their revenue, etc. And then if the lead is qualified, the employee may contact the company via an SMS call or email, and then even may book uh, an appointment, okay? Now, similar to what this employee does, we can have AI agents to mimic the same behavior, okay? Now, the agent, uh, the other thing this employee has is obviously the brain. So the employee uses the brain to understand the task, to think, reason, and plan uh, uh, the tasks uh, given to uh, him or uh, her, right? Similarly, an AI agent uses an LLM to understand the tasks, to reason, and plan step-by-step, uh, etc. Step, et okay? So a brain to a human is an LLM to an agent, okay? So the first minimum thing an agent require is an LLM, okay? And similarly, how this employee requires a number of tools and skills to do their job, the agent also requires access to a number of tools, right? As we discussed, these tools can be access to a database to gather some information. Maybe uh, also web uh, for uh, knowledge, code, uh, interpreter to run the code, the calendar, etc., uh, etc., et right? Uh, creating images. Now, the agent output need not be uh, just the digital uh, artifacts. Uh, I mean, it need not be a text or an image uh, or something like that, right? It can even be an action, a mechanical action. For example, the agent can have an access to a microcontroller as well. Let's say we have created an agent to monitor a factory, right? Now, if the agent observe something wrong going on, let's say a fire or some hazard thing going on, the agent which has access to microcontroller might even uh, turn off the machines, okay, uh, or any electrical equipment. So the agent output is not necessarily some digital artifact. It can be a mechanical action in the real world, okay? All right. So the agent uses LLM. That's the first thing to understand the task, reason, and plan. And the second most important one is the tools. So the agent uses the tools for knowledge to understand the environment and to execute the task, okay? So the two most important thing an agent require are an LLM and a bunch of uh, relevant tools. Now, in a number of frameworks, agentic frameworks I have been using, for example, uh, uh, Crew AI, small agents from Hugging Face, Autogen from Microsoft, Fidata, etc. The agent is the smallest building block. So in order to create an agent, as I mentioned, we need to supply only two things, LLM and tools, because agent is the smallest building block. Now, except in land graph, where we need to create node signed edges, uh, so which is much more granular. But in majority of the framework, uh, creating the agents is the easy part. So as a developer, the most of the work is devoted to creating these tools, right? As LLMs is simply an API call and with more powerful and reasoning uh, LLM models are coming up, we don't need to do much on the LLM side, okay? So majority of the work for the developers is creating or building these tools to in order to create an agent. And then the second most uh, challenging task is creating the interactions or the hierarchies or delegations, etc. between uh, uh, the agents when we have multi-agentic set, uh, setup, okay? So to summarize what we discussed so far, agent is similar to a human being, how a human being operate. So the agent require an LLM to understand, think, etc. And then tools 
to gather knowledge about the environment and to execute the tasks. Okay, so when we create a multi-agentic system, the two main things the developer spend uh, their time is one, creating the tools and two, creating the interactions between the agents. So creating agent itself is not difficult task. Okay, now let's see uh, 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 an example. All right, so we will use uh, the small agents uh, from Hugging Face as a framework. Now from small agents, we import a tool calling agent. Now the agents can be of number of types, right? For example, we can have a coding agent, which can generate and run the code, or we can have react agent, uh, reason and act type of, and then uh, we can have this tool calling agent. So this agent, we simply supply a bunch of tools and the agent will pick up which tool to use, okay? All right, and then we need uh, to create a bunch of tools. So we import uh, the tool and then we need to provide an LLM uh, to power or bring the uh, agent, right? Uh, there are a number of ways uh, we can use an LLM via this Hugging Face API or a light LLM uh, model framework as well. So let's use uh, a Hugging Face API. Uh, so I just supply which LLM we want to use. So here we are using DeepSeq R1, uh, this 32 uh, billion parameter one. Uh, the timeout uh, by default it's 120 seconds so set a bit uh, higher uh, because these reasoning models uh, they take uh, longer time uh, the other instruct models they finish the tasks uh, within uh, 120 seconds all right now if you want to use uh, the commercial uh, llms uh, you can use this light llm framework uh, where you specify your model name uh, whether it is open ai anthropic etc or if you want to use uh, the local uh, uh, models using Olama also, we can do that. Simply use, again, the light LLM, but this time provide the API base, uh, which is your local host 11434, okay? So we have one thing. So out of uh, the two things, we have the LLM model. That's all, uh, right? And then we will need to create a bunch of tools and we provide uh, the tools and the LLM to the agent. Now, before going to the tools, let's say we already have tools. Now let's see how it looks like. So as I mentioned, creating agent uh, is super easy. So here we are creating a tool calling agent. We are supplying a bunch of tools. We will go into what those tools are. And then we are supplying an LLM model. Okay, so the two most, uh, the two minimum are uh, the most important things. An LLM model and then a bunch of relevant tools depending on our task, okay? Now, unlike this LLM workflows where the model gets invoked only once, now, in agentic systems, because the agents are autonomous, they can invoke the LLM multiple times. For example, let's say uh, uh, let's say the agent generated some code and tried to run the code, but it encountered uh, uh, some errors uh, because of uh, some syntax error or it could be some bug in the code, etc. Right? Then agent tried to rectify it, it regenerate the code, it tried to run it. Okay. Now this can uh, go um, go into infinite loop uh, if the task is too complex. So that's why. Uh, whenever we use these autonomous AI agentic system, uh, we must uh, uh, make sure uh, that we set some thresholds or limitations. So the task we are going to do is super simple. So we are setting the maximum number of steps the agent can take is only one. Okay. So once we create an agent, we simply invoke the agents. Okay. Now we haven't discussed what these tools are, right? So we have a bunch of very, very simple tools. Uh, just the currency conversion, get uh, local weather uh, at a particular location and uh, some news headlines uh, some joke uh, random fact and search wikipedia etc etc right now when we call the agent we simply supply the task okay we are not telling the agent which tool to use that's the job of the agent so that's where the llm comes in so the agent use the llm to understand this task and then figure out which is the appropriate tool to use okay all right so let's look at uh, these tools. Now, these are very simple tools. They all look the same. Now, some of the tools uh, require uh, uh, the API. So uh, all, uh, this example is from Hugging Face. So you will have, I'll provide the link to the code or the notebook. So just go to the relevant uh, uh, URLs and you can create uh, the free uh, uh, API keys. All right. So uh, three of the tools require these uh, uh, APIs. All right. So we decorate this function, uh, sorry. We decorate the function with the tool to indicate it's a tool. Now, tool is simply a function to do a very specific task. Now, here we have a tool, uh, get weather tool, okay? So it simply takes a location and return the weather or the temperature 
uh, by default in Fahrenheit. Now, if you want in Celsius, uh, we can set uh, this Boolean uh, to true, but uh, this is by default false. Okay, so the input is a location and the output is the weather, the temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay, now how does agent figure out which tool to use? Now, this the description of each tool is very, very important, right? So here we specify what's the purpose of this tool. So as we say here, get the correct weather at a given location using weather stack API. Okay. All right. So it takes two arguments, uh, the location and then uh, whether the response should be in Celsius or not. Uh, this is an optional uh, uh, and it's a Boolean. Now it returns a string describing the current weather uh, 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 at the location. All right. So this is very, very important. Now, all these tools we are going to create, they are going to make simple API calls. Uh, so they will, uh, they, they all will be the same. So here we have the API key and the URL API dot uh, weather stack uh, dot current. Uh, uh, so they take uh, simply the API key along with the location and uh, units. Okay. By default, as I said, uh, those are foreign heats. All right. So we use the request library to invoke the API. We get the response and we check if there is an er any error, if there is not, then we pass the response to get the relevant information, okay? So this part uh, is very standard uh, in all the tools we are going to create, okay? We simply make a request, we check if it is successful. If it is successful, we pass the response uh, to uh, pass the data, all right? Now, here we have another tool, uh, convert currency tool, okay? So this will take three parameters. The one is amount, how much amount, the from currency and to currency, okay? Again, we have the tool description, the API URL, and the standard stuff, okay? Similarly, we have uh, another tool to get the current headlines. Now notice this one is not taking uh, any input parameters. Uh, because uh, this is uh, the current headlines uh, in USA, okay? So we, this newsapi.org, uh, uh, that's uh, related to the US uh, headlines. And we have another tool, uh, it simply return a random joke. Uh, again, uh, this also do not take any parameter. Now, a random fact, a very similar one. And finally, we have uh, the Wikipedia search tool, okay? So it takes uh, a single parameter, uh, the, the query, and we query the Wikipedia pages to extract the relevant information. Now here, the important thing is, so first we are invoking the agent with 5,000 US dollars to uh, euros. Now, if you look at our uh, tool, our convert currency tool, it is taking three parameters, right? So the agent is doing two things. First, figuring out which of the six tools to use and then once it figure out let's say it figured out it want uh, it should be using this currency convert tool now from this task it's finding out the parameters this tool takes so that's that second task so as this tool takes three parameters the first one is the amount the second one is from currency the third one is to currency right so the first parameter should be 5000 second parameter should be usd the third parameter should be euro. Let's see if that's what are uh, happening. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the model we are using. Uh, so step zero, that's the first one. Now the agent figured out it should be using convert currency tool. Okay, so that's look good. And then from our task description, it should figure out what the variables the tool require as an input, right? So the two currency, Europe or EU uh, Euro amount 5000 and from currency USD okay so from this given task description the agent not only figured out which tool to use and also the appropriate arguments for the tool okay and here is our uh, answer now because we are using reasoning model uh, you will see uh, uh, the thinking process I will not go into the details, but uh, 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 this is how uh, you would think. If somebody asks you uh, to do the same task, uh, this reasoning is uh, very much similar to how a human would uh, solve a problem, in most cases at least. Okay? All right. And the second one, what is the weather in New York? Okay? So it figured out 
it should be calling get weather tool and this function take only one parameter at the location so here the location is new york which is correct and the response is uh, the temperature is at 27 fahrenheit okay and here we have another task give me the top news headlines okay so as i mentioned uh, now it figured out it should be using get news headlines tool uh, without any arguments because this tool does not take uh, will not take any arguments now here are the five top headlines as uh, described uh, uh, in the tool uh, definition okay it should be extracting the top five uh, current news all right and uh, tell me a joke um, so it figured out it should be using this get joke tool again uh, it doesn't take any parameters so here is the joke uh, i did not get this joke but it doesn't matter so uh, some uh, some thing related to some y some x all right and then uh, tell me a random fact so again it picked the right tool get random facts tool and the random fact is uh, celery has negative calories some some blah blah blah, blah. and finally uh, we asked a question who is Elon Musk it should figure out it should be using search Wikipedia tool among the six tools we have and then the query is Elon Musk okay so again if you look at uh, the tool so search wikipedia tool it takes a query as an argument or an input parameter uh, as you can see from uh, the api uh, url uh, here we have the query okay all right so to summarize agent require two things an llm to act as its brain and a bunch of tools to gather knowledge and to execute the tasks okay now in most frameworks as agent is the smallest building block creating an agent is easy right we can supply an llm because just as an api so the real work is in creating the appropriate tools that's with a single agentic system now when we have multi agentic system in addition to the tools the second major task is defining the interactions between the agents if we have a hierarchical setup like uh, a ceo uh, uh, some cx managers employees etc so it is defining the hierarchy of the agents uh, their interactions and the delegations etc okay i hope uh, you find this uh, video useful uh, if you do uh, please consider uh, share like subscribe uh, etc uh, thank you very much